feature race time and they are off and racing. They have jumped away. Oh, the Cotswolds just has to be rousted to gather stride initially as they race over two miles for our feature event, the Unibet three Uniboosts today condition stakes and all with the championship fast track qualifier, also a London Stayers qualifier. And the early pace is with Earl of the Cotswolds now, who is the defending champion in the all-weather marathon division. He leads by a length, the white sleeves, to racing up on the outside Solent Gateway, who's racing in the black with a light green cap and armlets. In third place is Earl of Tyrone to the inside in blue, with the black and white checks on the sleeves. Third in the e-ball last season, James Doyle looking for a double. In fourth place is Rainbow Dreamer, a former dual winner of this race, won it in 2020 and 2021. He's racing in the purple sleeves, Ross Orion for Rainbow Dreamer. Out wider is Metier in the orange colours. A November handicap winner and a former Tolworth hurdle winner as well, Metier. He's racing on the outside for Safi Osborne. Aced it is back on the inside, a winner here last time. He's in the stripes of beige and dark green, followed by last year's winner, that Sleeping Lion. David Probert in the yellow and orange. And Berkshire Rocco is just a back marker, held up in the red and white by Jason Watson, a horse who was good enough to run second in the St. Ledger in 2020. Berkshire Rocco, he's the early back marker. Up then past the stands with a circuit to go in this fast track qualifier for the marathon division for Good Friday at Newcastle. And it's Earl of the Cotswolds who leads by three parts of a length as they turn right-handed towards the back straight. Solent Gateway in second under Ross Coakley. In third is Earl of Tyrone and James Doyle. Racing in fourth, one out, one back is Rainbow Dreamer under Ross Orion. Aced it is towards the inside then. He's just racing in fifth place around the turn, ahead of Metier in the orange, and then Sleeping Lion, the yellow cap. David Probody rode this horse to win this race last year. He's on board again, and the back marker is still Berkshire Rocco in the red and white as they make the journey down the far side. They're now past halfway, and the leader is Earl of the Cotswolds. By half a length still to Solent Gateway, who's racing in second place. Earl of Tyrone is in third on the inside in the Australian bloodstock colours. Racing ahead of Rainbow Dreamer, looking to try and win this race for the third time under Ross Orion. He's wider out, the veteran. Just behind those is Aced It on the inside of Metier, the orange, orange with the star on the cap. And the back duo, both being held up, are Sleeping Lion and Berkshire Rocco. Near the end now, the back straight about to turn. Right-handed back towards the side of the course. And it's Earl of the Cotswolds in front still by one length to Solent Gateway, a clear second. In third is Earl of Tyrone. Racing in fourth is Rainbow Dreamer. In fifth is Aced It. Then Metier, Sleeping Lion still being held up and no move yet either from Jason Watson on Berkshire Rocco. Around the home turn they go, heading for the final three furlongs. It's still Earl of the Cotswolds out in front for Tom Queeley to Solent Gateway in second. Earl of Tyrone in third. In fourth is Rainbow Dreamer as they turn into the straight. Earl of the Cotswolds just shaken up now from Solent Gateway to the inside is Earl of Tyrone. Rainbow Dreamer's under a right. Aced it looking for room. Sleeping Lion appearing on the scene now towards the outside. Berkshire Rocco is widest of all. Metier is next. Several with a chance here. Solent Gateway but the far side is Earl of Tyrone and now Berkshire Rocco down the outside but Earl of Tyrone it is who's quickening up for James Doyle and leads by a length to Berkshire Rocco in second. It's Earl of Tyrone who'll stamp his ticket for New Castle on Good Friday. Earl of Tyrone wins a double for James Doyle. Second for Berkshire Rocco. Third Solent Gateway ran well. And then the inside was Earl of the Cotswolds. Maureen, well done. That was a, an emphatic performance by a horse who's really going from strength to strength. How did you find that? Yeah, I mean, look, obviously we, we haven't had him that long. You know, um, he was bought at the uh, horse and training sale. and uh, But Williams talked to Paddy a bit and Paddy felt he would stay, although his last run of last year was over two miles but I think it was the end of the year and the ground was heavy and um, but he definitely looked like he really enjoyed the trip actually and enjoyed getting a bit of cover and yeah it was good it's nice and I guess the right horses were in and around for, for you to get a, a marker on exactly where he is at the moment and he's he's put them to bed fairly easily yeah I mean he looked to me like he was just gagging for a, a bit of daylight so he could go you know he wasn't over keen but he just looked he, he looked to be really enjoying himself um, and I think William just wanted to see you know he's off to Australia he goes into quarantine tomorrow where to go whether he went for the mile and a half race or the two mile race and I think probably looking at that he'd go straight for the Sydney Cup and um, you know you'd, you'd hope he'd have a nice chance in that. I guess when you're looking at European imports going down that turn of foot in Australian racing is so key and he definitely showed it there. Yeah absolutely and um, you know he's 
what we've seen of him, he's a nice, easygoing, straightforward sort of horse, nice personality, and, you know, hopefully he'll... So it's hard for them, you know, we've got two weeks of quarantine where they have to be boxed into Newmarket every day to exercise, and that's hard mentally on them. And and then, obviously, a very long journey, and, you know, they've they've got to be quite resilient and, and also have that sort of relaxed mental outlook to be able to cope with it all. And those are the things he's been showing you in the short time you've had him? Yeah, and he was very, he was good tonight. He was, you know, he was enthusiastic, but not silly and doesn't, you know, seems, seems a nice, a nice professional horse. Are these Australian races, they must be exciting for you, for you to go down and, and try and nick some proper prize money? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, We've got four nice horses going, and and it is it's you know it's terrific prize money, and um, it's not it's not easy. It's not an easy thing to do, and you know obviously we're going to have three people down there for quite a long time. And um, but look, if if it comes off, it's great. But it, it it's not. We've been lucky in a way. In the two years that we did, it was through COVID, so actually no one else was there, and you know we we were lucky. It's probably not going to be quite as straightforward this year there's more in quarantine this end and I'm sure there will be the other end so um, you know but but it, it isn't easy but if it comes off and you've got the right type of horse then it's it's a great thing to try and do it's not cheap either but uh, hopefully we they do they do you know they're, they're good about helping with the with the um, traveling expenses and uh, um, if you if you get a bit of luck then obviously there's a few quid to be earned. Wishing you all the luck in the world. Well done. Lovely. Thanks very much. Thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.